Hey yo, what is up fam of cheese? Welcome back to Delta Rune. I'm so excited to play this game and see what's going on with it, you know. Uh, we had so much fun last time, so go check that out card. Uh, we ended up uh, learning the tutorial, the basics. We met Susie. Uh, Susie looking like Jaden Animations uh, down here. Hello Jaden Animations. Nice to see you again. Oh, you're not dead. Sweet. Got no idea what the heck this place is. Me either. Yeah, yeah, she said some crap about going into the building up there. Uh, but before we do that, I want to check out what's in these buildings, you know? It looks like a shop, but the door is locked, and no one's inside. Awesome! You know what? Fuck me! Never mind, we're going straight forwards. That's what I get for exploring in a game. I see you in the tail. Delta Room, whatever your name is. I don't get choices. I remember. I get you. Why the hell is there a castle inside a supply closet? An excellent guess, you know, I, personally, I would have started at the mountains, uh, and this horrible hellscape that we've ended up in, and then to the beautiful crystal lake and everything like that, but you know what? Start the castle. Good for you. Welcome, heroes. Who's there? Do not be alarmed. I am not your enemy. Please, come forward, both of you. <gasps> oh my god! The prince? Dude, no, that ain't the prince. That's the fucking lake man or woman that we never really got to figure out which one it is, but it didn't really matter. Welcome. I am the prince of this kingdom. The kingdom of darkness. Getting big Twilight Princess vibes right now. He's <laughs> gonna pull it off and be like, I am the Twilight Prince. Da -da 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 Ma. Chris. Susie. There is a legend in this land. A legend that one day two heroes of light will arrive and fulfill the ancient prophecy foretold by space and time. Please, heroes, listen to my tale. I don't give a shit. Dude, can we start the genocide run now? <laughs> can we start killing? No! I can, I can say no! I kind of want to say no, but you know what? We'll listen. Very well, then. Is Susie gonna interrupt? But like, this is bullshit. Once upon a time, a legend was whispered among shadows. It was a legend of hope, of dreams. Why is there two different people speaking at the same time? Who am I speaking to? <laughs> this is the legend of the Delta Rune in Undertale. Well, it was even the same thing, dude. For millennia, light and dark lived in balance. Bullshit and not bullshit. Until they killed each other. Very sad times ahead, I know. A terrible calamity would occur. The tectonic plate slightly ruptured. Oh dear God. And the land will crack with fear. Then, her heart pounding. The earth will draw her final breath. <sighs> Only then, shining with hope, three heroes appear at world's edge. Sadly, we've only got two, so you're gonna have to go back home. A human, a big fucking monster, and a prince from the dark. How very convenient that we have all of these things. Only they can seal the fountains and banish the angels' heaven. Very epic sounding story, I'm not gonna lie, this is like some Zelda shit, dude. Only then, with the three pieces of the Triforce, will balance be restored from the world and saved with destruction and bullshit and whatever. Today, the Fountains of Darkness, the geyser, the geezer, <laughs> that gives this land form, stands tall at the center of the kingdom. There's a fly around my room and it's pissing me off. But recently another fountain has appeared on the horizon. This one is totally cool and definitely not even more evil. And with it the balance of light and dark begins to shift. So did you like my tale? <laughs> Please, rate it on what pad? 9 out of 10? I could probably do some improvement, I know. I deeply believe you two are the heroes of legend. Not me, you're gonna have to find the other prince. <laughs> <laughs> he lives on the other side of town. But despite whatever enemies you may face, you too have the courage to save the world. After all, eating chalk is a very heroic thing. Keeps your teeth nice and yellow. 
ironic, really, considering Chalk is wide and powdery and tends to flake off onto other things. Delta Warriors, please, won't you accept your destiny? Uh, no. Nah. <laughs> Are you Jaden? Of Jaden Animations? You shouldn't turn me down. I'll cancel you. <laughs> me? Some kind of hero or something? You got the wrong person. But Susie, without you, the world will. So what? If the world gets destroyed, it's none of my damn business. It's not like I live or anything. Except I kind of do live here now. Might even be kind of fun, honestly. Wow. So edgy. We love them so much. What a cool character. Thank you, Susie. Can I kill Susie? Can that be, like, proof of my, uh, you know, my power? Can we get Papyrus in here? He's a monster. I felt like he'd fit the role quite well, you know? My boy Papyrus. Stick him in. Come on. You can do it. This is my second pitch for Papyrus. I'll make one every video if I have to. Get rid of Susie. She's useless to us. I agree. <laughs> anyway, Chris. If you want to play pretend with this weirdo, stick around, dork. I'm going to go find a way out of here and likely die. Susie, wait. Well, well, what the fuck? It's, it's a space guy from before. Oh, 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 Merry Christmas. The heroes are already running away. And they didn't even know I was here. My dad's gonna make me son of the month with my weird little party popper tongue. Who the hell are you? I'm... PNG Man, the bad guy. Duh, do 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 You clowns want to seal our dark fountain, huh? I'm still picturing you guys as clowns. Save the world from eternal darkness, huh? Mm -hmm. Huh? Don't try to deny it. We both know you'll go east. It's your only way home. But I, Lancer, definitely not the bad guy. <laughs> Won't let you go there. And I've got a flawless two-step plan to ensure it. Step one, get some eyes. <laughs> Step two, profit. <laughs> I don't know what comes in between, but we'll figure it out ourselves. Step one, I thrash you. Step two, you lose. Mm, nice plan, kid. I hate this kid so much. This kid? Yeah, I, I'm gonna call her a kid, you know? I'm gonna call her a fucking kid, because that's what she calls other people. Fuck this character. I hate Susie. She's so edgy and dumb. Genuinely such an annoying character. Why do we have to be paired with her? Really? Yeah, actually. Mind if I use it on you instead? Oh, wow. I really hate her. Please let her die halfway through. What the hell? This is different. Damn, look at this. We have like a weird, like... This is a real RPG system. And there I was thinking it'd be like the... Doo -doo -doo from Undertale. That's so cool. Let's have a look at this. If this is an RPG, there should be different types of attacks. Or not. Let's just fight. That's fine. It's just Undertale combat. Old clowns, this bike is fueled by victory. It is just Undertale combat. Interesting. I don't know how I got an axe, but like, that's cool. Yeah, shut up. I'm gonna start removing your privileges to speak, Susie. I'm the one that had to speak for you. And I don't like you. Wow, this guy is a uh, terror. Oh my god, never mind, never mind. Oh, thank god Susie took damage for us. Thank you, Susie. So sweet. I don't care if you die. A dick. Easy freaking peasy. You won. We got some D's. D's nuts. I probably could have. Oh, dude, I probably could have uh, pacifisted him. <laughs> I gotta pacifisted him. <laughs> Sneaking up his butt. See how he likes that shit. I, are, are you two okay? <laughs> you fucking killed that guy. Like, I, I thought you were gonna be nice people. Um, allow me to introduce myself more properly. I am. Jeez, can you take off that hood? I want to see if you've got a big dick. <laughs> I can barely hear you under there. Um, alright. Oh, that's kind of cute, no? Excuse me, I feel like that we should give them a lower, vo uh, a higher voice though, a less papyrusy voice. <gasps> they don't look like a papyrus type character. Hello everyone, I'm Ralsei. Chris, Susie, it's ever so wonderful to meet you. I'm certain we're going to become great friends and... 
Best way to leave is east, right? Yes! That's where we'll... Got it. See you at school, Chris. You won't. Never come back. We don't need you. Um, I suppose it's just the two of us. Just the two of us. We, we can, can make, make it if we, we try. try. Just, just the two of us. us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. That's it. You know what? In honor of you, of you saying that, you're now getting Vegeta's voice. It's completely out of character, but it fits perfectly. Two of us. Uh, 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 two of us. Just the two of us. Just the two of us. I suppose it's just the two of us then. Whatever. Didn't need that bitch anyway. Chris, I'm a prince of all Saiyans. <laughs> <laughs> My voice is gonna be shredded. My voice is gonna be fucking shredded. Why did I pick Vegeta? I uh, currently don't have any subjects. I've been waiting alone here. Um, my whole life for two to arrive. So, I'm really happy to meet you. I hope we can be good friends, Chris. And Susie, who fucked off. Let's just try to find Susie. She must, she must be to the southeast. You can lead the way, Chris. Can I? <laughs> Rolse, the Lonely Prince is now your ally, let's go! I only want Rolse, I don't want fucking Susie, dude. The power of fluffy boys shines within you. Fluffy Vegeta boys, there's no one more fluffy than Vegeta. Look at that fluffy hair. He's a goddamn fluffy boy. It looks like a shop, but the door is locked and no one's inside. Nobody's freaking home, bro. Whatever. We don't need that shit. It's locked. Whatever. Uh, Chris, you know you can hold X to run, don't you? I can fly, naturally. Really? Mojika? Right. You'll move faster by holding X. He's going to give it to you. And I'll be right behind you, so don't worry. I run fast, too. Unless you want to get away, in which case, sorry. Oh, Chris! It's the training dummy I made. It looks like me. I like getting punched. Now seems like a great time to prepare for the enemy. Would you like me to teach you how to fight? No. <laughs> I had to fight. Right, you already fought Lancer, didn't you? I was so excited to teach you absolutely blanked. But, um, just in case you forgot anything. Here. I made a manual for you and Susie. Press C to open the menu, then use it in your items. I'm gonna have to bring the Vegeta voice a little down, because that's gonna fucking tear my throat apart. He's like doing Mr. Krabs 24-7, and that shit is not good for you. Oh my! The great door is opened. No wonder Lance was able to come through. That bastard. <laughs> fucking open my fucking doors without permission, I'll kill him. Chris! Once we pass through this door, our adventure will really begin. A journey foretold exactly by the prophecy of the legendary Super Saiyan. <laughs> but Chris, I believe your choices are important too. Don't worry, you will get your say, you little fucking pussy. <laughs> this world is full of all kinds of people, Chris. In the end, how we treat them makes all the difference. So let's try to do our best to get by without fighting. Too late, I've already killed somebody, sorry. If we can manage to do that, I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Oh shit, just killing fucking- oh dude, have I just fucked the pacifist run already? I believe this tale may have a happy ending. Do you want me to give you a happy ending? You won't get one. I'll fucking wipe everyone out like I did in the arena. Good times. Otherwise, I fear that you may not find the result favorable. I'm starting to have a feeling that this is going to be like Undertale, but this time we have one character that's driving us towards pacifism and one character that's going to drive us towards genocide. After all, Susie is the little edgy bastard that no one likes, and Rossi seems like the very cute uwu character that uh, is like, please don't kill. Even more hilarious, in my opinion, that we gave them to Vegeta. Oh, I'm sorry. Is that too much to ask? You don't want to fucking kill people, do you? <laughs> I can handle it. Chris, I knew you were a hero the moment I saw you. Let's try our best, alright? Oh, 
fucking try. <laughs> Trying to fucking strip my throat, that is. Fucking hell. We're all doomed. <laughs> Here we go! It's talking about Delta Rune Adventure, dude. This shit's cool. Let's freaking go. With the door closed behind you, your adventure will truly begin. Can we save? Hell yeah, bro. Let's freaking go. We're on the road. The road to success. Oh, this is so cool, dude. This is like one of the um, the little headspace bits in Amori. All the funny trees. <gasps> this song's sick! Uh oh, an enemy, an enemy, run! Oh shit, they have advantage. Um, act. Oh god, now we have to learn. Okay, convince. Lecture? This thing looks like it would like to be lectured. Look at that big smile. That's perfect lecture material. Rune and near. Rolse is not going to fight. Rolse does not want to fight. Rolse is going to spare. You lecture the enemies on the importance of kindness. The enemy became tired. Easy! Rolse is spare Rudin, but its name wasn't yellow. Try using Rolse's pacify. Oh, cool! Hmm, what, okay? Sick, dude. This is interesting. Okay. So this is like Undertale, but with magic as more of a forefront to it. Very cool. Uh, convince. I think that we just defend. And you pacify. <laughs> yeah, let's freaking go, dude. Nice and easy. We gotta show some moolah. In the bank. I'm making money. Dude, this music is banging. This is so cool. Dude, this is so awesome. I genuinely like this. They're still alive? Oh, oh, oh. Well, I visit my two favorite people. It's like you guys aren't even in my top five. <laughs> I like this character. This character's charismatic, dude. It's got the riz. Lancer, where's Susie? You mean the purple girl? Oh, oh, oh. Merry fucking Christmas. You fools, you're too late to stop me. What do you do? Yeah, it was so simple. I thought that was a dollar sign then. It was zero dollars. She beat me up so I ran away. It's a bit anticlimactic. <laughs> then you just stay there. I'm glad that you're still alive. That means we didn't kill you. We just beat you up. Uh, which is good. That's not... That, you know, that, that means we didn't do a genocide, you know? We didn't do a madness. There were two objects hanging from the tree. Take one? Yes. You got the dark candy. I want the light candy, how's that? You got the dark candy. I feel like we should not ingest the dark candy. That sounds very dangerous. <laughs> that sounds like something that might be a, a bit bit bad for us, you know? He was 40 HP. A red and black star tastes like marshmallows. That's good, but I don't like the implications of it being something of darkness, considering that's what we're fighting, you know? I'm just saying. Hey, if you add that way, my troops will thrash you. Just like I did, after all. Is that a threat? I prefer to think of it as an invitation. <laughs> Go and fuck yourself. I like this, dude. This fighting system's awesome. I like this way more than Undertale's. It's actually really dynamic. I really like it. Very well done. Okay, so we don't have to deal with these. Lecture and pacify. In that order. Nice and... Ah! We're okay. Oh, they're both tired, bro. Okay. Uh, get defended. Get pacified. This game genuinely has like a really cool RPG function to it. I like that a lot. Dude, hats off, Toby Fox. You know, that's really cool. You may not put papyrus in this game, but I'll kind of forgive you. Mamma mia! I'm Top Chef! My latest cake worked me to exhaustion! After all, it looks like the Titanic fucking broken! <laughs> so I took a little nap, but Mamma mia! A scary noise woke me up! A beast was hunched on the table, eating the cake like an animal! Oh wow, we're actually gonna have to beat Susie? I spritzed it with water, and it hissed and ran off, but my wonderful cake is. Burnt. Apparently they have flaming teeth, probably from all the charcoal. Oops, oh shit, I bit a line, sorry. Let's try to keep her out of any more trouble. Yeah, easier said than done, Vegeta. This shit ain't that easy, bro. I know you, you've become the pacifist, you know, this is your new lease of life, but uh, I don't think it's going to work so easily, you know. What do we do with Hathi? Flatter? X-flatter? What the fuck is an X-flatter? 
You ordered Rossi to flatter at the enemies. Oh, cool! I'm making tea later. Would you like any? Faced by diamond cutter. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. Oh, bollocks. That's not say okay. We can just, we, we just sit here and we could have just rigged it up. Dude, I'm an idiot. Spare. Spare. Get spared. Nice and easy, bro. Shit's easy as fuck. What is going on? Do I have to press it? Oh! Holy crap! What the fuck? Okay, so we have to... Okay. There's a time limit. Press. 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 Fuck. Fuck. I'm so confused. Okay, so it's press. 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 Chris, uh, you didn't forget, did you? That you can run by... Thank you! I did forget, you know? Very easy to forget, to be fair, in this game. Nice! Nice and easy, it's because you can't run in Undertale, dude. This is like the SNES version of Undertale, you know? This is like the Link to the Past. And I kind of love it, you know? It's very cool. Feeling lost yet? You must be utterly helpless among these twists and turns. Your sense of direction won't save you now. Signed, Lancer. Thanks, buddy. Hey, wait, where am I? Help, somebody help, I'm lost. Signed, Lancer. <laughs> you open the treasure chest. Inside was a white ribbon. Aw, cool. That ribbon is armor, Chris. It increases defense. Not much since a ribbon is fucking petty. Why don't you try wearing it in the equipment menu? I think it looked great on you. Not that I'm flirting. Um, sure. White ribbon. Increases my cuteness. Oh, adorable. What the fuck are you? <laughs> Whoa, wait a minute. Even if you're my enemy, I gotta warn you. A purple beast is roaming, clobber ground anyone who dares block away. <laughs> we don't even like fighting. The king left with no choice. Oh, Chris, we need to stop Susie quick. Fucking hell. <laughs> She's beating up the enemies we're supposed to be beating up. What the fuck? <laughs> Dude, I'm taking a sip, man. Hey, no luck, the side's private. Oh, this is just the way. Yo! Hello, Lancer. Oh, 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 Merry fucking Christmas. So now you managed to survive the maze. But don't count your blessings before they hatch. Oh damn. I wonder what I'll do. Maybe I'll just use X Flatter and then they'll all pacify immediately. Making tea later, yada yada yada. Oh shit, they, they did not pacify. But I can just do this. Hey, why you guys thrashed? You're totally outnumbered. You made a team purely of support enemies. You fucking moron. Their bullet patterns aren't balanced at all. It's like a dinner made of three glasses of milk. And I mean the sand. And that's uh, unusual somehow. Why don't we ever talk about this after the battle? Fucking moron. Wow, too easy. Oh well, this one's still putting up a fight though. Oh, that was very close. But we're okay. We spare you. Good job, Chris. Sweet, how much do I care? <laughs> I like Lancer, Lancer's cool. You you lost Lancer, you don't get any, you fucking dick. Oh, can I have some of yours? No. Fine, later, losers. <laughs> this game's really charming, dude. What the fuck are you looking at? Sup? Thought you were running away. Yeah, I finished. <laughs> Amazing, dude. Fantastic. I actually really like the humor of this game. This might have better humor than uh, than Undertale, you know? It's very funny. It's very up my alley. Now watch me fail this puzzle. Come on. Fucking, fucking, come on! I think we might be missing something. Maybe we should try going to the next room? Ah, whatever. Fuck you, then. Oh! Oh, man. We were just having fun as well. Can we go back? <laughs> you know what? I think we'll be fine. Let's figure out the puzzle by ourselves. Come on, come on, come on. We can do this. Come on. One, two. One, two, three. Come on. We just have to be more tight with it. 
a little longer than a few minutes later. Fine, we'll get fucking Susie back, even though I hate her. Oh, you won't open your stupid door. Oh great, I can slam your heads into it and see if that works. Susie, we were ever so worried about you. How did you get past those spikes before? Walk through? But this door sucks. Oh, don't worry, Susie. It'll open after we solve the puzzle over there. Nice, tell me when you finish it. Oh, Susie, we need you to finish it. Sometimes proceeding will take all three of us. Furthermore, only Chris can seal dark fountains. So if you don't accompany us, you won't make it home. So you're saying I have to stick with you guys? As much as it pains me? Yes! You have to stick with us. Yep. I'm out of here. <laughs> Let's just get this over with. Yeah, I agree, you know. I actually hate your guts. Yahoo! Susie's back on the team. Cue the fanfare. No one wanted this. <coughs> Susie joined the party. I hope she dies. Susie follows at a distance such that no one can tell she's associated. Thank God. Because I hate her fucking guts. Come on, Susie. Pull your fucking weight. Fucking layabout dumbass. Come on. Even with three of us, we can't do the puzzle, man. There we go. Sounded like the door opened. Boom shakalaki. What the fuck is that? <laughs> oh, Chris. Susie never got a tutorial either. Next battle, we should show her how to act. I think she might really enjoy that. Yeah, something tells me she's going to attack. And I won't be able to control her. Oh, okay. See round attack violently. You recall Ross's advice. Okay, I guess. X compliments. Sure. Can't pacify, so you spare. You ordered Susie to flatten the enemy. What? Why the hell would I do that? It attacked us. Let's smash it before it moves. Oh, look, Susie. It seems harmless. If you act nice, we might win without hurting it. Okay, okay. Hey, little guy. I really like the axe in your face. Killer. She serves nothing but like a burden to the task. Where'd you get it? <laughs> uh, Chris, maybe I should talk to her. This is genuinely like doing it like a, a, a pacifist run with a genocide run alongside. It's really annoying. Hit. I sneak by it. Yeah. Thanks, fucking Lancer. Is that Freddy Fazbear? Freddy Fazbear. <laughs> Um, Susie, I suppose you missed what I said earlier. As heroes, we have a power to make a peaceful future. So from now on, let's try to avoid fighting, okay? Um, what if you just took it easy on them? If you weaken an enemy, I can use my pacify spell, which can put exhausted people to sleep. Huh. <sighs> yeah, you talking is already doing that. Well, um, just think about it. We might have to warn enemies about it, Chris. Yeah, you're telling me about it. Let's go talk to Freddy Fazbear. Hey, kid. Ho, ho, ho. You want to buy a tutorial? It's only 50 dark dollars. No. No. <laughs> Did I say 50? I meant 20. Nice Amori reference. It's still a no. One. Only one dollar, please. I need this right now. Okay. Really? You change your mind? <laughs> Went this way, gentlemen. No chance! Susie the Violent Tormentor is now your ally. The power of mean girls shines within you. My favorite movie. We'll leave it here for today. The whole squad's together. Begrudgingly. I'm glad we got Vegeta on the crew. Even though he strips my throat. And despite how smooth voice she is, 
Jaden animations is really annoying. Hopefully she gets better. <laughs> Becomes more like her actual human counterpart. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll catch you all next time.